Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upscale and export video from HD to 4K in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. Before we start, I want to preface this by saying that upscaling a video shot in HD to 4K is not the equivalent of shooting a video in 4K natively. Having said that, there are some good reasons for why you may want to upscale your HD video to 4K. First, doing so will allow your video to be properly scaled to fit a 4K display. Additionally, it is shown that upscaling from HD to 4K before you upload to, for example, YouTube will not only allow viewers to select 4K as a quality option, but more importantly, because YouTube detects the video as a 4K file, it will give the video a higher playback bitrate, ultimately resulting in sharper image quality. So without further ado, let's see how this is done. Now what you see on my desktop here is the example clip that we're going to be working with today and this particular clip is a fashion film that I shot and as you can see if we go into the information tab under dimensions you'll see that this is a HD file with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now let's go ahead and change that to 4K. To do this we're going to launch Final Cut and then we're going to import this video like we would any other video. So starting off by selecting the arrow in the top left hand corner and then we'll find our video on our computer. And then let's create a new event. Uh, let's call this HD to 4K. Let's import. Once the video has imported, as you can see, this will now be listed under our new events and we can go ahead and play this back. And again, over here on the top left hand side of the viewer, it will repeat the same resolution that we've seen. So currently you can see this is still in HD. Let's go ahead and change that. So to do this, we're gonna go under file, select new and then project. Let's go ahead and call this one 4K. Now it's important to note that your screen may look different from mine. You may get this menu instead. If this is what you see when you create a new project, be sure to select the use custom settings button to bring up all these additional settings that will allow you to change, as you can see here, the video format from 1080p to 4K, 8K, or even 360, or actually also a custom size. And this is what will allow you to even create videos formatted for Instagram or TikTok. But I have a whole tutorial on this, so if you guys wanna see that, I'll leave that linked down below. But for now, we're gonna be selecting 4K as this is what we want. We can also here change the frame rate if we want, but for now, I'm gonna leave that to match the original video. You'll also find that there are some different options under the 4K preset. However, I'm just gonna go with the standard 3840 by 2160. And these other settings can remain the same. So let's go ahead and press OK. And once we've selected OK, we will now see the project listed under our event. And let's go ahead and drag the clip in just like we would with any other project here. And we're going to go ahead and expand this view by pressing Shift Z. And you'll notice above the clip we have these dotted lines, which indicates that it has to be rendered. And of course, this is because the upscaling hasn't happened yet. So let's go ahead and let this render and see how it looks. And now as we're rendering this clip, it is actually upscaling the footage, bringing it from 1080p to 4K. Perfect, so the clip has now finished rendering and we can go ahead and play this back. Now that we of course have this video playing back and in a 4K project, we of course want to export it in 4K to take full advantage of this new resolution. So to do this, we're gonna go under the share menu, which you'll find on the top right hand corner, and we're gonna select master file. Now there's various different options that you can use, but master file gives us the most control and flexibility for exporting in Final Cut. Once you've selected this, we have the option to change the title and we can also add a description or any creator tags if we'd like. Now let's go ahead and take a look at settings. This is where we get to the Kodak. Now standard Final Cut will export this as a Apple ProRes 422 file, which will give you a very high quality export. And you'll notice the file size is very large. This is a 3.77 gigabyte file for a 20 five second video. If you're uploading to YouTube, let's say we are, this is not an ideal preset as this will have very long upload times. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to H.264. Now this is a slightly more compressed video codec. However, this will make massive difference in terms of file size and will retain much of the quality, including the resolution and frame rate. So let's go ahead and uh, select this and keep an eye on, this, uh, on the size of the file here as I click that. And you can see this has brought the file size down very significantly to only 417 megabytes and will actually be a little bit less once the export is done. So that's all the settings we're gonna change. Let's go ahead and select our destination. We'll use the same folder as our pre-existing video and let's export. All right, so the video has now finished exporting. Let's go back to that same folder. And here we have the newly exported 4K version with again, the resolution of 3840 by 2160. And we can play this back and it will play back smoothly. This time, of course, scaled properly for a 4K display. And again, when uploaded to YouTube, will be played back in a higher bitrate. 
Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching.